Tina Kotek now sworn in as Oregon's 39th governor, already teasing big moves to tackle homelessness and the housing crisis starting tomorrow. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Elizabeth Din. I'm Jeff Gianola. Let's get straight to Lisa Balick, who's live in Salem tonight. Lisa, some big promises from the new governor tonight. Yeah, keep in mind that she has been meeting regularly, weekly almost, with Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler about the homelessness crisis, what's needed, and now she has the power to make it happen. How are you feeling? Great. Feeling good. <laughs> I caught up with the governor before her swearing in. She's already experienced here in making change, serving as a state lawmaker since 2007, House Speaker for nine years, leaving to run for and win the governor's seat. That I will faithfully. Kotek taking the oath of office alongside her wife, Amy. Kotek set the tone for what's ahead. She'll sign two executive orders tomorrow, one to declare a housing emergency with a goal of building 36,000 homes per year. 20,000 is the average right now. Another order for a statewide homelessness emergency to invest $130 million to get more than 1,000 Oregonians off the streets. Imagine in Oregon where no one has to live in a tent on a sidewalk where Oregonians seeking help for a mental health concern or a substance use issue can find and afford the support they need. Imagine an Oregon where every child has a safe place to receive a high quality public education and every working family has access to affordable childcare. Kotek also referenced wanting accountability, already changing agency leaders, the head of the Oregon Health Authority gone, the head of education saying he'll be retiring, more to come. A lot of physical changes here at the Capitol as well, with major construction underway. In fact, Kotek will be working out of an executive office set up a few blocks away at the State Library. The North Portland homeowner will live in the governor's residence, Mahonia Hall, here in Salem. Now, keep in mind, the governor things along quickly because she's been playing ball in this field for some time. She's worked with Democrats, Republicans, knows how the game is played. We have a lot of questions for her and tomorrow there'll be a press availability over at that new office as well and get some answers to those questions. Live in Salem, Lisa Balick, Coin6 News. Lisa, thanks. And we want to add to this the Oregon Republican Caucus sending a letter to Kotech today saying Oregon must allocate resources and funding to the greatest benefit, meaning they want continued efforts to monitor government waste and reallocate funding to issues like health care, education and housing.